Uh, credit to um, Sac State. I, I thought they, they played well and I thought they physically uh, got after us and I thought it bothered us. And that and the fact that we, in, in the first half I thought we had some great scoring opportunities and the, uh, we didn't see the ball go through the basket and I thought we, we let up a little bit on our defensive end. But part of those not going in is probably the physical defense. So credit to Sac State. They deserve the win. Questions? Coach Michael Wiggins from the State Hornets. You talked about the defense of Sac State, physicality. They came in with one of the best defenses in the state or in the country so far. How was you guys 51 points? I know you talked about the physicality. What else about their defense? Was it it's just play? it's just aggressive. Yeah, you know, I, I would say it, it's it's aggressive and uh, you know, I thought they made some of our especially some of our young guys just a little uncomfortable in that pressure and um, you know, uh, like I said, I, I thought we had some decent opportunities, but they also sped us up a little bit with that pressure. Uh, so maybe you rush the shot a little bit, even though it's a good shot, maybe you rush it because of the pressure and, and, and so you don't convert. But, um, you know, along with the physicality, it, it's probably they, they contested, contested passes, they contested shots. And, um, you know, I didn't think we responded to that all that well. Coach, must be a great opportunity just for your guys to be here at the Golden One Center. Is that sort of the message that you sent them, just having this opportunity? Yeah, this is, yeah, I can't thank uh, the Kings organization for opening up their home to us and allowing us this opportunity for these guys to play in an NBA arena um, in this beautiful facility is uh, truly a, a lifelong memory. So. Uh, we talked about that in the in the pregame about embracing the opportunity, um, and and uh, you know just grateful to have this chance. And it must take losses like this, you know, for your young guys to grow. Yeah, I, you know, there's no question. We're we're throwing some guys to the wolves. That's not an excuse. Um, and uh, the the experience they're getting is going to be valuable. Um, they're, they're talented, they're fearless, they don't know what they don't know. That's partly on us as coaches to teach, uh, partly on them to go through some life experiences on the floor uh, when the lights are on. So um, we'll continue to progress and grow and get better. Coach, there were a lot of whistles tonight. Did that affect the tempo that you wanted to play with in the game? Um, it didn't affect our tempo. Um, you know, it, it, for us, we, we wanted to limit the, limit the possessions, uh, so the slower pace was to our uh, liking. That, that didn't really bother me. Um, some of the whistles, and when they came, may have bothered me more than the, the lack of tempo in the game. Talk about Matt's effort tonight. Um, you know, I, I, Matt's been doing a really nice job. He, he can score around the basket. Um, you know, he's skilled, he draws a lot of attention. Um, you know, I, I, again, I thought he broke his rhythm a little bit picking up some of the fouls. We had to, I had to sit him with the fouls in the first half and then sit him again in the second half. And that, uh, that takes a, an awfully good weapon for us off the floor. So uh, he's got to be a little bit better in some of the uh, situations not to foul and get into spots earlier. And um, but we, we got to keep going to him because he's a force. And coach, what, what are your thoughts on Josh Joshua Patton from Sac State? You've seen him multiple times now over the years. Um, what do you think about him as a player and as a leader? Well, I, I, I appreciate his growth uh, from a young guy. Um, and, um, you know, he's obviously worked really hard, worked on his game and, and continued to develop. Um, not only is he a good defender shot blocker, but he's developed an offensive uh, game and he's a weapon on that end of the floor and it wasn't always like that. So credit to the work that he's put in. And your team was able to, to make a couple runs in, in both halves, but never were able to really break through and, and take the lead. Why do you think that was? Well, again, I, I would credit Sac State when they needed to make a play. You know, I think we cut it to six in the second half and um, we gave up an easy opportunity on our defensive end and then turnover uh, on our offensive end and it goes right back to 10, which is uh, you know deflating for this young group. So um, that's when, when you make that run, that extra possession, that other stop, um, 
you know, we, we got to be able to make that play and then take care of the ball. But give them credit. They ramped up their execution and ramped up their pressure and, and made plays. Any other questions? Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Coach.